Of course, drummers like to play fast, and uh, this is an opportunity to express different kinds of vocabulary on the instrument. The challenges uh, are technical at first, like can you maintain the tempo, can you keep a good flow, a good feeling, and can you integrate your ideas at a fast tempo. Now, one thing that I think about is when I'm playing the snare drum, my, hand, my right hand in particular is usually in this kind of position. We call this a German position because I have the most range of motion here. I will turn it over if I'm going to play some faster, delicate stuff with the fingers. But when I go to play the ride cymbal, especially playing fast tempos, it, my right hand doesn't move from here to here, but it moves this way into a more of a French grip, we would call it, so that the fingers are more accessible. And when I'm playing a fast tempo, I'm not doing that thing so much like this that we talked about in an earlier lesson, but I'm thinking about the stick moving more or less straight up and down, and I almost imagine I have a little smiley face painted on my thumb, and it's looking me right in the eye. And so my technique is kind of like this. And the workload is distributed between throwing and kind of collecting with the fingers. Often, a certain musical structure is played at fast tempos, and the structure we refer to as rhythm changes, which is based on the chord changes to George Gershwin's I've Got Rhythm. Now, many jazz musicians have written new melodies over those chord changes, and we're not going to play a particular melody, but one of the most common rhythm changes based melodies that everybody knows is the theme song to the TV show or the cartoon show, The Flintstones. So if you can think of the Flintstones in your head, ba boom, be boom, be boom, be dee doo 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 dee doo doo da. Again, be boom, be boom, be boom, be ba doo 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 dee doo dee da. Then the bridge, ba boom, be doo dee doo doo dee da, dee doo, be boom, be doo doo dee da. Ba boom, be boom, be boom, be ba do 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 dee do dee da, and that's the 32 measure structure. So we're going to play four times through that harmonic structure, not playing the Flintstones, but if you if you sing that song in your head as we're playing, you will better understand where we are as we're playing. So let's give this a try. We're going to play four choruses. One, two, one, two, I want two, three, four.
so you can feel the energy required to play that tempo. And perhaps you notice that often at the beginning of a, at the end of an eight bar phrase, going into the next eight bar phrase, I played a little fill or maybe going to the, the other crash symbol to indicate that this is a little landmark that, uh, that it's important to, to show to make sure we know we're all together. Then at, on the last chord, we played the last chord, and then I played a little thing. And some old timers would say, while that last chord is holding, close the door. Like close the door as if the sound is finished. Or put a button on the end of the chord. You play. That's what they would call a button. And these are little terminology from, from the old days, and maybe it'll be some use to you. The main thing is getting comfortable with the flow of that faster tempo in the cymbal and having a, access to some of those coordination things that we talked about earlier. So I hope this gives you some insight and some inspiration to develop this kind of vocabulary. Mm -hmm.